G'day guys, m 10 Tam here. Today we're going to learn about using the Hyper Shade in Octane Render. It's pretty much like a Maya tutorial, but how to use the Hyper Shade within the Octane materials. So I've set my scene in a very awkward way, but hopefully we'll get the gist of it. Actually, I don't really think we even need the uh, Render, the, the 3D viewport there. Alright, so we're going to create a glossy, so let's go to Octane Render Materials. Glossy. And here we have the glossy material. So we are now going. Refresh. Ah, oh, didn't even get selected. Let's actually rename this. So select that and select it. There we go. Okay, so what are we going to do today? Alright, so we're going to place some files. So we're going to do the checkered since that's the most easiest. Here we have a checkered um, node. So as all nodes, we right click and we like right click, keep pressing, keep pressing, and let go on the node, and we go to other. Now we go to we on the outputs, we go to out text, and we put that to diffuse. And yay, it's connected. That took me like six months to learn, back in three years ago. All right, so now also we can also add the values. So we go to transform, full transform. And now we have three nodes here, so right click over that, go to other, out, trans, and put that to the transform, and yay, now that's sticking. Now, we with the once you've selected the out transform, we go to the scaling and put down a hundred, a hundred, and a hundred. So, looking good so far, looking good. We're going to recreate that mixed material node we made earlier. Now let's uh, go to the textures and let's go to the, what was it, marble. Right, middle right click on the node, go to other and we're going to out text and we're going to put this on the specular. And let's move that down and if memory serves me correctly we got this cool effect by putting the octaves up. Oh, that's so cool. By putting the octaves up, the power. Oh, magnificent. Alright, now we are going to go to the textures. We're going to add a turbulence. This turbulence and marble are always the same. Middle, mic, middle mouse click, other. Go to the out text, and we're going to put this on the roughness. Okay, oh, it always moves up. Put the octaves up, uh, offsets, power, omega. Put that up here, so it's affecting the. It's affecting that. Now, what else should we add? That's cool. <laughs> oh, bump mapping. So, with the bump mapping, we're going to try and mix shit together. Sorry for my language. We're going to mix. So we're going to go to mix. We're going to add uh, sin and sine. And we're going to other out text. We're going to go to the texture one. Other out text, texture 2 and the scaling, oh, the scaling, uh, go to transform full rotation and this is going to apply to both of them so out text, out transform, scale and out text, trans out text and scale both of them have been connected and we have to rearrange that oh. Damn it. Alright, so now let's put the scaling up to about 
100, 100, 100, oops, 100, not 1,000, and we're going to connect this to the main one, and we're going to go to out text and put that to bump. Holy shit. Now that is a lot. Let's go to 50, 50, 50. Ah, oh, rotation. Meh, looks good. Looks pretty cool. Looks pretty chill. Okay, so now what else? What else? What else? What else could we do? Um, let's add another material. And we can't do any stuff up because if we stuff up, then it will stuff up the whole entire thing. Let's mix these two textures together. So we are going to create a glossy. No, a uh, glass. We go to Octane Materials. Go to the specular. And we're going to go to Mix. And we're going to middle right click on the glass, other, out, material, material one, mix that, other, out, material, material two. So now we refresh. Ah, so I was making, I was making an effect. All right. So anyway, we are going to quickly go to the. Let's just. Uh, hmm. So first of all, let's just add a color to this. So let's go to red, orange. Hang on, what am I doing? Let's do in the... Oh, that's cheating. So let's go to RGB. Middle right click. Other. Out text. And we're going to go to reflection. And we're going to change this to... A... Orange. And... Next... We're going to add transmission. We're going to add a RGB, uh, RGB spectrum. Right click, other, out text, and we're going to go to transmission. And the transmission is going to be a funky color. If we can even make it. Ah, oh, fine, forget it. Alright, let's go to just. RGB middle mouse mouse click other out text transmission let's get a blue okay and let's let's render this out and see what happens let's change the Rendering settings to PMC. And it died. Alright, look, um, so that's pretty much the uh, gist of the... That's pretty much the gist of the Hypershade, middle, middle right click, out text, and put it into what you want. Um, very, very sophisticated. Um, you have a lot of control with the node editor. It replaces octanes. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and I'll see you next time.